Hey guys, back with another video. Um, I just made a video a few minutes ago, but I wanted to, uh, naturally, I started thinking of something else that I could have probably brought up, but um, I'm going to bring up now. One thing that kind of struck me funny, not necessarily funny, anyway, um, and I know a lot of people are going to be caught off guard by what I'm about to say, but and I just want to make sure I word this correctly. What good would there be to have a seven-year tribulation if the wicked aren't going to be here? What good would it be? And I'm going to read a passage from chapter 13 again, verse 29 through 30. And just hear me out before you turn me off. But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Now remember... As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world, the tares being the wicked. Now, when Christ comes back and sends the angels to do the harvesting, if that's the case, if we're all going to be harvested together at once, why is there a seven-year tribulation for the wicked? You know, if they're going to be bundled up, bind and bundle into bundles and burn, if the wicked are going to be destroyed, then why is there a seven year tribulation? So this means to tell me here, you know, even from reading the book of Daniel and through the book of Revelation, there will be a time of testing, there will be a tribulation period. The harvest won't be until the end of the tribulation period. That's when Christ will return. So like I said, if the harvest comes, now when the harvest comes, and first the tares are gathered, and then the wheat's gathered, well then there's no need for a seven-year tribulation. But this kind of flies in the face of what the rest of the Bible talks about, how there's going to be a time of testing. There will be a seven-year tribulation. Christ will come back towards the end of the seven-year tribulation. I don't know what day he's coming back. I don't know what hour he's coming back. Nobody knows. But we can know what season we're in. All right, guys.